Doing some upgrades this weekend on two different systems, getting them ready for upgrading to the new Ryzen 3000 series, broke pass through on both servers. This is what happened. <laughs> Now this video is by no means conclusive, and I'm just uploading it as a warning to anyone thinking of upgrading their BIOS on an X370 or 470 motherboard to support the next gen Ryzen CPUs. So let's start at the beginning, because that's always a good place to start. Well my brother had decided to upgrade his server. He had a Ryzen 1800X in an MSI Pro Carbon X370 motherboard along with an NVIDIA 2080 Ti as the GPU. Now he was planning on upgrading the GPU to an RTX 2080 Ti and upgrading the CPU to the new Ryzen 9 3900X. Now as the 3900X here in the UK is as rare as hen teeth at the moment, he decided just to get the GPU first and then when the CPUs become more abundant, pick up the CPU then. Now obviously these upgrades are quite expensive so he decided that he wouldn't upgrade his motherboard to an X570 board and just keep the MSI 370 board. So for the motherboard to support the new CPUs it needed a BIOS upgrade so he thought he'd do that right away so to be ready when the new CPU arrives. Anyway, rewind to last Friday night. My brother Sam calls me and asks if I'd log into his server and help him set up the 2080 Ti and pass that through to the Windows 10 VM that he uses for gaming. And as much as we tried, this just wasn't happening. Every time we started up the VM, we'd just get a black screen. And when trying to shut down the server, the server would crash and it would need to be cold reset in order to boot up again. Now the graphics card he had bought second hand off eBay but it was working fine in Windows when booted in bare metal because he has his server set so it can dual boot into a bare metal Windows or use that Windows install pass through as a VM. Now we suspected that the upgraded BIOS may well have been responsible for breaking pass through because after having updated the BIOS all the kind of background graphics had been stripped out because MSI said they had to take everything out that was not important in order to fit what they needed into the BIOS. But just to double check, it wasn't something wrong with the graphics card, we popped the 1080 Ti back in and had exactly the same problem when starting up the VM just having a black screen. And an interesting thing that we noticed is for stopping the VM and then trying to restart it again, we got the error 127, which is really weird, especially after having made a video about that last week in to do with AMD cards. So something's definitely changed, the card not even be able to reset properly now, staying stuck in the low power state. So really weird and not really looking good at all. So I really wanted to find out if this was just an MSI thing, especially after having seen they'd stripped out all of the images in the BIOS, I thought maybe they'd just taken out things and broken the IO MMU. So I really wanted to try this out on something else, updating the BIOS on a different motherboard and seeing if the problem persists. And in my server, I've got the X470 Tai Chi Ultimate from ASRock, so I thought I could try upgrading that. So I put the latest version from ASRock's website onto a flash drive and upgraded the BIOS to version P3.20. So now with the BIOS upgraded, it was time to see if my pass through was still working or whether it is now balked. So over to Unraid and the VMs tab and let's fire up a Windows VM. So the first thing I noticed was the Windows VM, its IOMMU was different and the graphics card was no longer there. So I was going to have to re-add it in because it's going to have a different number now. So I reattached the graphics card in the template and added the VBIOS. And also I had to re-add my USB because that was given another number as well. So the timer's here to see if whether it's going to be exactly the same on this motherboard as it was on my brother's. And you know what? It was a black screen. Damn it, f shit, f damn it, f damn. Ah, uh, sorry about that guys. Hmm, well, at least I got Docker. Just no more Metro Exodus. Hmm. So let's force stop the machine and start it up again and see if we get that error 127. Yep, there it is. So guys, anyway, that's the end of this video. 
Now, I really don't know what pass-through would be like on a X570 board. Maybe it would work fine on that. But for me, it's not working on an X370 and an X470 with the vendors MSI and ASRock. But time will tell, and I'm sure these problems will be ironed out. Anyway, it's time for me to go now, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, and you know anyone else who might like it, then please share it with them. If you like my videos and you're not already a subscriber, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me, then you can do that through the links in the description. And to all of my supporters out there, I just want to give a really, really big thanks to all of you guys. It's you guys that make it possible for me to make these videos. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.